Well, city officials gave us an update today on the garage collapse in Lower Manhattan, stressing just how dangerous the demolition process is and how they are taking this very slowly. This comes as many neighbors want to know when they will be allowed back into their homes. Pix 11 Jay Dow is live in the financial district with an update from the Department of Buildings. Hi, Jay. Hi, Shirley. So just in this immediate area, there are four addresses under a full vacate order, two others under a partial vacate order. So several families now displaced, many of them being helped out by the American Red Cross. This just underscoring the care that's being taken by city officials to carefully take down this garage without causing any further damage. Crushed and pancaked, one completely demolished vehicle after another lined up on Ann Street Friday evening. Each of them pulled out of the parking garage, which collapsed without warning earlier this week. Since then, the city has received various inquiries from residents who are still in their homes, but worried the collapse may have affected the structural integrity of their building. We did uh, structural inspections of all the buildings uh, surrounding that whole block. On Friday, city officials attempted to ease their concerns. And we only vacated uh, the areas that we thought were uh, had structural stability issues. So if there wasn't a vacate on there, we didn't see any structural stabilities with the rest of the building. Following the removal of the parking garage manager's body from the rubble, clearing out the rest of the debris is now in full swing. The city's OEM commissioner had this to say about the ongoing tedious cleanup process. We're not rushing through this cleanup. Uh, what I can say is safety right now is our number one priority. And we are working very hard right now to ensure the stability of the surrounding structures as we proceed with the demolition. City officials say there were dozens of SUVs parked on the garage's roof level prior to its collapse, raising new questions about whether the garage owners allowed the total vehicle load to exceed the building's functional weight capacity. PIX11 News reached out to the owners of the garage by phone Friday. A woman answered the call and told us no one was available to speak to us. Buildings officials say complicating this cleanup process is the number of electronic vehicle batteries and gasoline inside the tanks of those vehicles that are still in the garage. They say they're going to take their time to make sure the job is done right. We're live in Lower Manhattan tonight. Jay Dow, PIX11 News.